let's solve this interesting integral so this integral basically takes a double integral into single integral with introduction of ln x and minus sign okay uh, first of all it feels like we have to reduce this two variable into single variable yeah and then somehow we might be able to get to the other form so for that we can basically let z equals to x y and uh, for the other variable like let x be x l itself yeah z be x y and x v r t x itself so this implies that basically y will be z by x and x will be x itself now we can use Jacobian matrix for the change of variables from x y to x z Jacobian matrix so basically Jacobian matrix is something like this but look uh, yeah so if we have to uh, go from dx dy to dx dz dz so we here we have the differentiation of d x y by d x z this is how we change the limits and now uh, while doing this so this is the Jacobian matrix and it, it can be evaluated in the following way so first of all dx with respect to dx and dy with respect to dx and then dx with respect to dz yeah, yeah. and then dy with respect to dz and the determinant of this matrix yeah and now and the, uh, okay since a uh, dx by dx will just be one uh, and dy by dx will just be so dy by dx yeah Mm. so this will be minus z by x square minus z by x square and dx by dz so that's just zero and uh, dy by dz dy by dz one by x one by x dx dz now the determinant will just be one by x one by x mm. and then dx dz yeah so dx dy is basically one by x dx dz now uh, when x goes from 0 to 1 and y goes from 0 to 1 basically that's the limit over here in this problem so we need to find out what does x equals to x and z equals to x y goes from yeah now, first of all uh, let us see for x so x goes from 0 to 1 so at this point uh, y is also going from 0 to 1 but our other axis will be z so since z is x y so for every value of x so basically z will just go from 0 to that value of x yeah for cause for every like uh, for every uh, y going from 0 to 1 but at z is x y so z will go from 0 to x value so from for uh, this x value it will go up to here z goes from 0 to th over this height that's equals to the length of x value corresponding to this one yeah so this will be actually equal so again for this x value it will go up to here so this is how z value the limits of z value will be and this is the area that needs to find out so basically uh, this height for every x value over here the height will also be equals to x and this is the line for z yeah so with that we can now evaluate uh, the alternative integral where the variables are changed so basically x goes from 0 to 1 and z goes from 0 to x yeah. and this is f of z yeah. and dx dy is 1 by x dx dz so now to evaluate this mm, okay so wait 
basically so the outside limit is for x and the inside is for z so this should be actually dz dx yeah okay so now uh, to evaluate this uh, we can basically take x one by x outside because this is this integral is in the world of z so one by x will just be constant so you can write as integral from 0 to 1 1 by x integral from 0 to x of f of z dz dx okay so now to evaluate uh, we may not be able to evaluate this integral because we just have a function over here yeah and uh, yeah and for this we can just uh, say that the mm, uh, integral for this function f of g to be capital f of g yeah, we can do that isn't it? so if we do that we will have integral from 0 to 1 1 by x so this will be capital f of uh, f of g evaluated from 0 to x capital f of x minus capital f of 0 yeah dx okay so now we can use integration by parts for this one so that will be uh, so u yeah u let this be the u the integral of b ln x yeah u integral of b and minus integral of uh, derivative of u so this will just be derivative of capital fx will be just small fx and the other one will be zero derivative of u and then integral of uh, b dx so integral will just be integral of 1 by x will be ln x ln x dx now for this integral at 1 ln of 1 will get will be zero and at zero this term over here will be zero so basically this will be zero for both the conditions so that will be zero yeah and minus integral from zero to one of small fx ln x dx so yeah we have just proved our statement that this integral is equal to negative of integral from zero to one f of x ln x dx yeah and i guess the proof is complete we beautifully used uh, the jacobian determinant or jacobian matrix for changing the limits of integral and yeah we proved it before i end the video let me uh, give you an interesting analogy of this property for a triple integral so if we had a triple integral of f of x y z dx dy dz then this will be equals to integral from 0 to 1 of ln square x f of x dx so you can basically try to prove this property it goes on a similar line and yeah I hope you will be able to prove this one and yeah I hope you enjoyed the integral thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos